Alright everyone, I'm Rabia. And I'm Matt. And this is Sounds Like on Anderton's TV. <laughs> So we're trying to find gear that replicates famous guitarist sounds, um, but on a budget. We put a post out actually on Facebook just to say, you know, if we wanted to do a video on sounding like a guitarist, who would it be? And there was loads and loads of suggestions. Mark Tremonti came up actually quite a lot, so. He did, he did. Who, a, who's Mark? Who's Mark, Mark Tremonti right? is the, the lead guitarist in the band Alter Bridge. Uh, he used to be in Creed. He's a, he's a top man, top yeah. man. You know, everyone knows him for those kind of fat, darker sounding uh, alternative rock riffs, don't they? Yeah, and he, he plays a fair show of lead as well, but yeah. it's a very, you know, fat American sound. Yeah. Um, so, if you like him, and you want to sound like him, this is what you could do. Well, yeah, looking at these guitars, you sort of two and a half grand. A little bit, uh... A little bit excessive. A little bit ambitious. Well, I know, they're really nice, obviously, and in an ideal world, you would get a load of them. So we're looking for SEs. We're looking for PRS SEs. Uh, you found anything? Yeah, found PRS SEs. Okay. A little bit more affordable than the Uber PRSs. Look. Okay. Like 400, 600 pounds. Well, it's far more achievable. <laughs> Much more achievable. So they're made in the Far East. Uh, and they're normally factory made as opposed to handmade, yeah. but it doesn't necessarily jeopardise the quality and the tone and all that sort of stuff. It's just no, absolutely not. It's what you go for, isn't it? And also, factory made. You know, people have hands in factories. It's not all machines, so <laughs> yeah, it's true. There you are. Is this the Tremonti Sig? This is the Mark Tremonti signature. Well, considering we want to sound like Tremonti, I suppose the probably the best thing to do would be to get the Tremonti SE. Okay, well that's five nine nine. Right. Sort of a third of our uh, hypothetical budget right now. I suppose that was a bit too easy, but either way, it's the uh, Tremonti SE, so we're going to go with that. But amps is going to be more difficult because the guy, if anyone knows Mark Tremonti, the guy uses like a Fender twin for his cleans. What does he use? He uses a Bogner. Basically, he's got loads of different amps for different stuff live, and he switches between them all. But because we're trying to be a little bit more affordable, so we're going to find something kind of as everything. So let's go and find some amps. Woo! Where's Lee? I just wanted to say, I saw these guys shooting video and I thought I'd reassure you this is an official approved Anderton's Captain video. Enjoy. So we're just also thinking the best way to reference the sounds like would be to choose the right track. I really like the song All Hope Is Gone off Alter Bridge 3 because I think that opening riff is immense but also it's a great, it's, song. It's a great song and it's a nice tone to start, just classic Tremonti style tone there. Yeah, I really like the song White Knuckles which is off Blackbird, the second Alter Bridge album. I can't get a mess of boogie out of my head. That's, <laughs> that's just that. 2,299 quid. Okay, that might blow us out of the water a little bit. You seriously have to really want that Mesa sound if you're going to spend 2,299 <laughs> quid. What about, what about that line six over there? Personally, I love the sound of valves being driven. So, you know, most guys know that line six, they do, they specialise in modelling and digital stuff. Okay. So I vote DT. Yeah. DT25. And that's also got, I've just noticed the Bogner. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Classic American clean. So we're on the right part of the world there. Yeah. The, the Line 6 uh, DT25 is around 500 pounds. Yeah. For this little beast here. Um, and so I reckon, well we've got 599 on the SE, and now we've got 500, 500 quid on, on the head. That's 1100, 1100 quid. quid. Who are these two jokers? Mm, not a clue. Urban you don't know? No, we don't talk about that. <laughs> pedal, pedal, pedal land. Pedal land. To be fair, if, the, if you're going to buy a pedal from anywhere around here, it's probably Anderton's because they've got literally ridiculous amounts of pedals. I mean, have you ever seen such a beautiful pedal cabinet? No! Uh, so Mark Monty has a signature Morley Wah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if they do Morley. Not really. Not really. Okay. Not really. No Molly Wars. No. no. In which case, we need to get a wah pedal that's going to work for the job. We could just go regular wah. Regular wah. Yeah. Good old so. crusty crybaby. So we're going good old crusty crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we want? Do you want a solo boost or something? Uh, MXR. Yeah, they do a boost somewhere. There's a lot, a lot of pedals to choose from. Seema Duncan, pickup booster. I've heard that's really good actually. Yeah. Matt. 
I reckon we go see my Duncan pickup booster. You reckon? Yeah. Right, well we've got all the gear for what we think is going to make us sound like Tremonti. We got, we're going to go for the uh, SE Tremonti SIG, we're going to go for the Bogner Line 6 DC25, and then we're going to get the Seymour Duncan pickup booster uh, for the sort of lead sounds, and lastly we're going to get a Crybaby Wah, just a bog standard Dunlop Crybaby Wah. So yeah, all good. Let's go and try it out at the warehouse. Right, we're here, we're in the video studio, and we've got our rig sorted out to sound like Mark Tremonti. So, what do we have? So, first of all, we've got the Tremonti SE. Yeah, which now, is obviously Mark Tremonti's signature. The funny thing is, though, that it's just an SE with a, with a, with a trem on it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just an SE single cut no, with not, a trem. just that, it says, it says Tremonti on the top. Oh, it does say Tremonti on the top. It's a nice sounding guitar, nice and easy to play. Yeah, it's good. Straightforward. Behind me is a Line 6 DT25. Yep. Now, I suppose on one hand, you might be thinking, well, why have you gone Line 6? You know, like, why not, you know, Mesa or, you know, I suppose he uses Bogner and stuff like that. Yep. But it's a Bogner power section, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. So you're going to get Bogner esque tones, yeah. at least in the power section. Yeah. Um, I think it's definitely, it's definitely like beefed it up a little. Yeah, the design side of it is. Bogner, so it has made it a little bit more chunky. Yeah. Down on the ground, we've got your bog standard issue uh, Dunlop Crybaby Wah. Yeah. And next to it is the new Seymour Duncan pickup booster. And these pedals have been around a little while. Um, but it's quite a transparent uh, solo boost, really. Yeah, yeah. It sounds it just, great. Yeah, it just adds a little bit more on the top end. And I do find that Mark Tremonti's lead tone is is really like really clear isn't it it's like it's, yeah, it's I, gainy I but thought you were going to say the word piercing but it's not quite there no if, if piercing was here and not piercing was here it would be about here <laughs> <laughs> basically we'll go through white knuckles first because uh all hope is gone is in a bit of a weird tuning <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it sounds really good. Two super modern like metal tone, isn't yeah, it? But yeah. like, I would say that it definitely has that American thickness about it, doesn't it? Oh well, yeah, and it still sounds kind of warm. Obviously, when you use the pickup booster on lead as well, it allows everything to. I think there's a very mild amount of compression dialed in, tuned in with the pedal. Yeah. So when you do do leads and stuff, it just lets everything sing a bit better. And also having the wah pedal is just fun. So here we go. Let's try a bit of wah, bit of, work, bit of wah action. Makes my mouth go. <laughs> Alright, let me take the wire off just so you can hear the pickup boost. Well, actually, we'll start with just no pickup boost on, and this is what the, this is what it sounds like for leads. So it's a little bit lifeless almost. There's not much gain from the amplifier. Well, yeah, it makes you work hard. Yeah, it, there's a little less gain, less sustain. But when you put the booster on, it yeah, it's a it's a nice musical sort of. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. And also, the Line 6 DT25 has reverb, so let's put, put, pop a bit of reverb in there and do the same thing again. That's fun. The one thing I do notice is my mouth just wants I, to. I just I, I clocked it halfway through. Did you? <laughs> yeah. And again, it does. It does sound like Tremonti, doesn't it? It does. Do you not think it's got that, it, like you said, just a bit shy of piercing, but <clears throat> it, particularly in that top end. <laughs> Should, yeah. we, should we try something of his? Yes. So I'm down tuned to the right tuning for All Hope Is Gone. Yep. 
and uh, it's pretty flappy on the old strings here, but it should do the it job. Is, yeah. Uh, channel A on the amp on the sort of second gain stage, class A, pentode, so um, no pedals and volume on full, so it it's pretty close I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. sounds nice. <laughs> I like that riff a lot. The word piratey has been associated with You can that just riff. see Captain Jack Sparrow looking out over the land, <laughs> thinking yeah. to himself, Kira Knightley, I want you. No, seriously though. Did you know Keith Richards was uh, in Pirates of the Caribbean? Was he? Yeah, he's, he's, in, he's in the third one as uh, Jack Sparrow's dad. No way. No, but seriously, it's like you say, it's got a pirate, pirate theme to it, that riff. And if anyone's curious about the tuning, you want to tune your entire guitar down half step, and then you want to tune your bottom string or your E string right down to be matching your uh, B string or B flat, I guess it would be. So. Super low. Yeah, it is low. So you make, make sure you've got heavy strings, but it's a cool riff and it's, it's a lot of fun to play. How about the solo? The solo, oh God. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? That was it. That was that was it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the tone yeah, though, isn't we, it? I think we I think we pretty much got that. Yeah, I think to be honest, super super simple rig, DT25, PRS SE Tremonti, which you could argue does does half the work, but I, to be honest, I'd argue it doesn't. I'd argue that you get a PRS single cut SE or whatever, like the SE245. I've yeah. got one of them. It's a great sounding guitar. Um but the pickup booster blended in with the high gain channel on there um really does get you that tone. It does. It does. So, uh, I think we did a pretty good job, Matt. I think we did a pretty good job, Rabia. Yeah. Well, this is Sounds Like with Anderson's TV. I just want to say, on behalf of me and Matt, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to find out any more about this particular rig, you can find out in the description below. And also, all of the songs we've talked about and featured, um, and movies, are in the description below. <laughs> I've been Rabia. I've been Matt. <laughs>